Good afternoon, Flagler County. This is Sheriff Rick Staley, and thank you for joining us for a community update for Thursday, June 4th. I'd like to start today by telling you how proud I am for the peaceful protest put on by our community yesterday. Y'all were able to organize a peaceful demonstration that should be a model for other communities. I believe this sent a positive message to everyone who saw or heard about it. I promised you that as sheriff, I will protect your constitutional rights to peacefully demonstrate and protest. And I am glad that we were able to do that together yesterday with the group walking and our deputies providing traffic control to keep everyone safe. It was great to see how our community came together in a unifying march that was filled with love, hope, and camaraderie. Even a business, Palm Coast Ford, along the route, had purchased water to hand out to marchers. And at the beginning of the event, sheriff's deputies prayed with the group for healing and guidance and handed out bottled water. Thank you for shining a light during this difficult time in proving that together we are Flagler Strong and we are one community. Now for a COVID-19 update. Flagler County has had 191 confirmed cases of COVID-19 with 23 total hospitalizations and four deaths. Flagler County has tested 5,000 people with only 3.8% testing positive. On Wednesday, Governor DeSantis announced that Florida will move into phase two of the safe, smart, step-by-step. -step. This means starting tomorrow, bars and pubs can reopen at 50% inside capacity and full capacity outside. Restaurants can increase capacity and serve at bar top. Entertainment businesses including movie theaters, bowling alleys, concert houses, and others can operate at 50% capacity. Personal services, including tattoo parlors, acupuncture, and massages, can reopen. Gatherings should be limited to mo no more than 50 people. All guidelines for proper sanitation, social distancing, personal protective measures, and recommended added caution for those 65 and older and or with underlying medical conditions are still recommended. On Monday, June 8th, the Sheriff Perry Hall Inmate Detention Facility will reopen video visitation during normal business hours, but will limit the capacity to 50% in order to enforce social distancing. If you wish to use the video visitation, you must make an appointment by calling 386-313-2200. The stations will be disinfected after each use. In-house and in-person inmate programs will also resume at 50% capacity in the jail classroom. Classroom capacities will be capped at 12 inmates at a time and all instructors and detention staff must wear face coverings. Tables and chairs will be disinfected after each use. City of Palm Coast officials have announced the reopening of the following facilities beginning Saturday, June 6th. Ralph Carter Park and Indian Trail Sports Complex. Additionally, the playgrounds and water fountains will open at Beltair Park, Indian Trail Sports Complex, Palm Coast Lineal Park, Ralph Carter Park, Seminole Woods Neighborhood Park, Waterfront Park. The following recreational amenities remain closed in Palm Coast. All basketball courts, all park pavilions, all volleyball courts, James F. Holland Memorial Park Playground, Palm Coast Aquatic Center, and the Palm Coast Community Center and Park. Remember, we do not make these decisions and are only educating you on the decisions made by city officials. Please contact them if you have any questions or concerns. Flagler Schools Extended Day Summer Camp and the City of Palm Coast Summer Camp will each open on June 15th. Registration for the Extended Day Summer Camp is now open by calling 386-446-6717. Registration of the City of Palm Coast Summer Camp will open at 8 a.m. Monday, June 8th and will be first come, first serve. Visit palmcoastgov.com and search for Fun in the Sun Summer Camp. If you are interested in COVID-19 testing, you can make an appointment with your primary health care provider, the Florida Department of Health in Bunnell, the community testing site at Palm Coast Campus of Daytona State College, or an urgent care center. 
please call the Flagler County COVID-19 hotline for an appointment at the Palm Coast campus of Daytona State College at 386-313-4200. Follow us to stay up to date on our social media platforms at flaglersheriff.com forward slash coronavirus. You can also download the Flagler County Sheriff's app in the App Store or Google Play to stay up to date. Thank you and have a great weekend.